The year is 2018. It's just another Tuesday for most of us, but Elon Musk has launched the world's most powerful active rocket. Catapulted a car into space and vertically landed two rocket boosters simultaneously. This could have been the pinnacle of an entrepreneur's career, but Musk did not stop. He's now the world's second richest man. He runs the futuristic electric car company Tesla and the social media giant Twitter. He's also plotting a super-fast underground system, launching advanced spacecraft, offering help in international emergencies and selling flamethrowers. But this is not without his many battles. He has now catapulted his companies into complete chaos, and he's making people angry. Most recently, he labeled Western media, the BBC and NPR, as government-funded. This riled them up. He also wants to build Tesla's batteries in Shanghai. Washington is not going to be happy with either. And these are just some of his oddities. He's known for this impulsive decision-making. So we ask, is Musk a superhero? Or as some reports say, just a boy's idea of a rich man? He has more. <laughs> Elon Musk has put himself in charge of global free speech. He wants to change the world one Twitter handle at a time. He's aiming for maximum transparency on Twitter and trying to make media organizations self-aware, or so he says. Now he's highlighting links to ownership and source of funds. Twitter handles of organizations like the BBC and NPR are now marked with the label government-funded media, and they are not pleased. The BBC is saying that it is and always has been independent, adding that it's funded by the British public through a license fee. Britons pay about $196 each year to fund the BBC. This fee is set by the government. Meanwhile, America's National Public Radio says it will stop tweeting from this account unless it is freed of the label, saying it only receives some money from public institutions. Whether Musk is right or wrong, his decision has certainly angered many. And speaking of anger, another case comes to mind. Tesla is now expanding in China. It's building a new factory to make its large-scale batteries. We can only imagine that Washington won't be too pleased. The U.S. government has been urging American companies to become less reliant on China. There are growing tensions between the two. U.S. President Joe Biden fears America is losing its technological edge to China. But Musk doesn't seem to care too much. He wants to transform the world's energy system. And lately, it seems like Musk wants to transform everything. But is he really changing the world for good or just creating play toys? Most of the battles Musk picks revolve around fast cars, smart toys, spaceships, dog memes, women, strange jokes, loving fans and more memes. But the reality of how he's doing is a little different. Twitter is now valued at less than half of what he bought it for. Tesla stocks tanked after his Twitter purchase. His employees have been quitting back front and center. Some are being fired in the most inconsiderate ways. It seems like Musk has failed to admit when he is wrong. He refuses to apologize and he rarely holds himself accountable. In December, he posted a Twitter poll asking if he should step down as CEO, saying he will do as the results say. 57% of the respondents said that he should. But guess who's still the CEO of Twitter? It's truly beginning to seem like with every dollar Musk makes, he acquires the ability to purchase carelessness.